Welcome to Cars All the Time. I'm G, your host today, and we are at Coffee and Cars out in the parking lot here, and there should be whoo, probably 800 cars and about two or 3,000 people. Take a look around here. You'll see Lamborghinis, and you'll see panning around. You'll see all kinds of people here already, Ferraris. Look at all the people. Good gracious, and we even hit, hit the best part of it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch some of these owners of these cars and interview them, and let's let's find out about their cars, okay? Okay, we are standing here with Hector in his gorgeous Lamborghini. Tell us a little bit about your Lamborghini. Uh, it's um, it's a Ventador's 2013. Uh, it's all custom. Uh, the paint's custom. Um, the interior's custom. There's really nothing in the car that's original other than the steering wheel. Okay, tell us about the paint job. Paint job is a satin uh, black color. Um, it's got a little bit of a, of a clear coat on it, but not too much to where you still see the, you know, the lines of the car. Uh, it also has a blue um, accent on it, uh, on the whole car, um, along with the back. The, the wheels are three-piece forged wheels, custom to the car, uh, one of a kind. You won't see them anywhere else. Um, and now you the, had this, uh, the wheels uh, done at a special shop? Yeah, the car was uh, was made or, or was done at a, a location in Miami, a, a place called the Auto Firm. Uh, they do a great job. Um, they actually do, they did everything. Uh, obviously, they, they subcontract a lot of the stuff that they don't do in-house, uh, but they take care of the full, the full car. So the, all the interior, the sound system, the paint was done by them, and then they oh, sub you, you, ch you changed out the sound system too? Yeah, the sound system, we upgraded the whole thing. It's got a subwoofer. The, the whole interior is, is pretty much upgraded as well. It's a uh, it's can, custom. Can, you open door, can we open the door and look yeah, at sure. it? Okay, we're going to open the door here at this gorgeous car. And it's like, I mean, there we go. Uh, isn't, it, isn't it called Alcantara Tara seats? Uh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're called, yeah. But but the, the, whole, the whole leather and the, and the suede it's, was all redone. Uh, and then if you look this way, there's a subwoofer in the middle, uh, just to give it a little bit better, better sound. Now, what what this is called is a scissor door, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. Yep. Now, uh, why did they go that way and not the Goldwing doors? Uh, you know what, I don't know. I think this design's been out for uh, for a few years. Uh, I think the idea behind it is when you open when you open the door, you don't really hold a lot of room to, to get the door open wide, so just go up. So even on tight spots, you just you open the door up and it doesn't hit anything, so. So it's easy for you to get in and out, right? Great. Thanks, Hector, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Gorgeous car. Looking forward to cars all the time. Great, thanks. Thanks. We're here with Ben right now. Ben, tell me about your car. Um, well, this is a Ford GTX one. It's um, one of 38 that got finished. As we all know, in 2005, 2006, Ford reintroduced the GT, and uh, it's been a fantastic car, very successful, and everybody's looking forward to the 2017s coming out. Um, but then there were 38 cars that Kip Ewing actually took with Gennady Design to cut the top off of them and make a Roadster version. So they called that a GTX-1. So they ended up finishing 38 of these cars, and I've been blessed enough to own one of them. Wow, wow, wow. Did you get it right when it was new or just afterwards? I did not. I bought it I bought it as a second hand. Um, I looked for one when it was new, but I didn't have any luck finding one. I have been blessed, though, to own uh, three other uh, coupe GTs, and, right, right. you know, like I say, hope to find the next one. <laughs> So are, are you looking into getting a 2017 if you can buy one? Well, I, I, I filled out the application. I submitted the process. Um, yes, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I would love to get one. I'd feel blessed to get one, but by, by no means am I guaranteed one for sure. <laughs> oh, I know about that. They're making 250 per year, correct? That's what I mean. The rumors have been anywhere from 150 to 250 per year with right. anywhere from 500 to 1,000 total run production. So right. it's, it's going to be a low volume car for sure. Oh, yeah, exactly. You have one gorgeous car. Uh, now, we noticed on the uh, GTX, is that right, X? Yes, GTX-1. Okay. Yes, they sir. got the, what, what do you call those right uh, the, there? The buttresses back there. Buttress. And again, the, the if you look at the difference between the standard GT there on the left and then this GTX-1 on the back, the clamshells are different. The motor is the same, but these GTXs, they put the these buttress on the back and then a, a flat plate so that you could still see the motor. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like that. That is so neat. 